Good morning. This is Pastor Jim Hardy from First Presbyterian Church in Lockport, New York. And today is April 8th, 2020. I'm going to be reading from Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Well, a lot of us know about endurance right now. Uh, the idea that we are enduring through this pandemic, the, the suffering that it's causing our country, uh, the people of our country, the people of the world, it's at times overwhelming. And these uh, sufferings Paul witnessed firsthand as his ministry was filled with such suffering. But he also talked about how this suffering that he felt produced endurance. And that this endurance produced it, produced in him character. And this character in him produced hope. Suffering can produce endurance and character in a person. And with character comes hope. Hope is... An elusive term at times but hope means that we have a future a future after this a future after suffering a future that is built on a faith that we are loved by God and that God has not rejected us or deserted us Paul talks about this endurance this hope found in this suffering and he says that it is a hope that does not disappoint it does not disappoint and that this hope will bring with it love that will be poured into our hearts the silver lining of suffering is that we receive a character. Through all of the sufferings that I have experienced throughout my life, what it has built in me is a stronger faith, a stronger commitment to God, a stronger understanding of God's character, a stronger understanding of my own character. And as my character has been built through this suffering, I have also found hope. Because I know through many of the hardships I've experienced in life, ultimately at the end of the hardship comes hope. Through difficult challenges, through heartaches, through pain, through sickness, through all of the problems I've had in life, ultimately I have discovered that in the end everything will ultimately be okay. I've ultimately felt that through this suffering, I have felt that God is in charge, and that God's hands are around me, embracing me. His arms are overwhelming me with love. I feel this faith. I have this hope. And I know things will ultimately get better. Though I must endure this now, I have hope that the end, things will be fine. And God will again embrace me with his love. I know that God loves me. Because of this hope and this faith, I'm able to endure. Let us pray. Dearest Lord, give us the endurance to overcome our suffering. Give us the endurance that produces character. And with character produces hope. Give us the hope that your love has not deserted us, that you are here right now embracing us with love. Lift us up. 
lift up our loved ones, lift up the sick, lift up those who are working on the front lines, lift up those who are feeling anxious, feeling alone, feeling afraid, and give them hope. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen.